I've got a job working at the police station where I was a summer youth employee working for a number five precinct. They throw me their keys and I would have to get in their cars and like they park up the block, I'd have to either back up or take it around the block. Either a kid sitting in a police car, oh man, my chest just grew about 10 inches, man, you know, because I get in the car and I'm riding. And I started thinking this is what I want to do. I became supervisor of group 42 for the Drug Enforcement Administration. They cross-designated me, I had to get sworn in as a special agent for DEA. So now I'm doing, I'm doing double, dual tasks. I'm a U.S. Marshal and I'm a special agent for DEA. That's when I picked up the name Batman. I'm talking about Gotham City, man. We were rolling, man. We were jumping on guys in the middle of the night, all of that swooping down on folks all across the country. And using these sort of tactical operations that we went out on that you would use in Vietnam or using some type of war-torn zone. And all of the stuff that we were doing, just calling it the war on drugs. And it wasn't very many black guys in my position. So when I would go into the war room where we were setting up all of our drug and gun addiction task forces, determining what cities where we we're going to hit, I would notice that most of the time was always appeared to be urban areas. And that's when I asked the question, well, don't they sell, sell drugs out Potomac and Springfield and, and places like that? Or well, maybe y'all think they don't. The statistics show they use more drugs out in those areas than anywhere. The special agent in charge, he says, you know, we go out there and start messing with those folks. They know judges, they know lawyers, they know politicians. You start locking their kids up, somebody's going to jerk our chain. He said, they're going to call us on it, and before you know it, they're going to shut us down, and there goes your overtime. What I begin to see is that the drug war is totally about race. If we was locking up everybody, white and black, for doing the same drugs, they would have done the same thing they did with prohibition. They would have outlawed it. They would have said, let's stop this craziness because you're not putting my son in jail. My daughter's not going to jail. If it was an equal enforcement opportunity operation, we wouldn't be sitting here anyway. It's all about fairness, man, and understanding how would I want to be treated. Whether I'm on that one end or the other end, how would I want to be treated if everything was done equally?